everybody, what's up? This is Nick from Threat X3 Productions, um, bringing you a quick video. I'm really, really excited about the new map, uh, Firebase Z, for uh, Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War, Zombies. <laughs> it's too long. Too long. Um, you've probably already seen it by now, so I'm really just going to get into like things that I noticed. Um, especially things that I noticed that like not a lot of people are talking about. I've watched like Falafel Waffle and you know Code Name Pizza and like a couple of the other people, and it's like there's definitely one, uh, a couple of things that like nobody's really pointing out. And so I just kind of wanted to give my version of it. Um, now this is the village from the second uh, campaign mission. I don't play single player, so I wouldn't know. Um, but right here, I'm not sure, but this in the back almost looks like it could be like a machine or something. So like a lot of people are trying to say like, oh, well, you know, you're, you know, once you go from the village to the other place, you're probably not going to come back. And I'm like, yeah, but then why would they have a thing right there? And then we got a wall by and then up here that looks like maybe it could be a trap or it could just be, you know, opening the door, obviously, but you know couple things there that I noticed um, over here the blue door right here I'm pretty sure like that's each area is gonna be split up into different areas where you open up the giant door you know that was another thing people were questioning like you know this is a giant village how are they gonna make it more zombies or whatever and it's like clearly they've, they've made it more zombies I mean we got blood all over the floor we got it's all nice and zombified or whatever so this is the one guy he's clearly looking at uh the facility i haven't really noticed anything on the uh like that looks like maybe the central ground or something that's where the helicopters crashed and that's probably inside somewhere i don't really notice too much um then obviously this is supposed to be samantha and then this is the part from the tweet where they did a little tease and obviously that's going to be like the the mini boss that came out here so a couple things i noticed here right here there right there is like i said i'm pretty sure that's a door like that's how they're gonna oh, i need to do that again that's how they're gonna do stuff so right here you can see there's a purple arrow usually the purple arrow is going towards the power so this once again goes back to the whole thing well everybody seems to be saying that once we get out of the village we're not going to be going back or something that's kind of but if there's i i think like there's going to be power for the village separate from the power to the um um the base because i feel like obviously if you turn power on one place it's not going to turn power on for both or whatever so then obviously right here we got our supply box or whatever so they're obviously bringing that back um i do like the fact that they're obviously sticking with the whole um you know fire team kind of thing so even if we don't get the easter egg for instance we can just extract at 10 or i mean 11 15 or 11 16 you know what i'm trying to say i like that that is like one of my favorite things about the new zombies is just being able to you know do that right here we got the uh, crafting table you can clearly see that's the uh, that's the crafting table right there. Uh, once again, that's a little red thing, but you can see that it goes to nothing. So is that just gonna be like an alternate route where you can jump down, you know, so you can train them all together and then jump down or something? That might be kind of cool. Um, it looks like there's another arrow. So the arrow could be actually pointing to the portal. So right here in this corner, if you see, I'll move it. You can see that there's an arrow bag. Yep, see right there an arrow right there oops right there it might not be going to the power it might be going to the portal so i might be wrong you know it happens i feel like the village more so than the base might be a really good place to like train zombies there's one like really big shot and i'll show it in a little bit because they go through the portal here there's one really big shot where it's like okay here's a nice big open area right here this looks like a really good place to train zombies but almost all the other areas in this base looks like like kind of tight corridors so it looks like the village might be your place to really like train zombies and you know get some space between you and them and here maybe not so much right there in the background you can see uh tombstone so tombstone's like 
if we're going by this trailer tombstones like in the first area when you come into this uh when you come into through the portal so that's kind of cool and so you can see it again there uh another purple arrow right there i think wasn't there a wall by here oh no there's another arrow right there there's a wall by over here uh this has like a gun right above it so maybe that's the armory or something it doesn't look like we go into it but you know here's the look at our little mini boss or whatever he's got a guy here and a guy on his shoulder um i'm gonna go ahead and put a theory out there that this is just a littler version of the elder god and maybe there's gonna be some story reason for him existing you know because sure a lot of people are pointing out he looks like the same guy from like the shadows of evil and stuff like that and it's like yeah he certainly does but at the same time like the way he has like mangled parts together and even his hand looks like the thing coming through the door one of the easter eggs on d machine um like that can't be a coincidence i'm gonna say maybe you know leading up to the main boss battle we're gonna see like a bunch of these like run together and make the big elder god or something like that either that or we're gonna get these little things from the elder god during the boss battle we'll see them coming off of him or something like that i um, that's my theory let's see if i'm right um it definitely looks like he's gonna be really quick uh more zombies now here's um definitely part of either the easter egg or or the pack-a-punch um and right now it's not purple but you can see in the background that it's purple and so this is really confusing because uh here i'll just show you you go through here uh right here you can see just like in onslaught mode if you're on the playstation four or five um you kill a zombie in the soul so the souls are probably going into those blue things and then once you get enough it goes boom and that looks exactly like in onslaught mode where you had to stay inside the circle so the reason i'm pointing that out is because back here because after that see it's purple see purple this is purple and this was blue See, it's clearly blue, but then it starts to change, and then it has this shot, and boom, that's purple, that's purple. So this turned purple, my point being is that boom, shockwave, boom. These turn purple, but for some reason in the background, right here, while these are still blue, this is still purple in the background. So something's going on, you know, um because you would think that maybe it would it would have turned purple after boom the shockwave but no it's before so it's like okay there there's still something going on something going on story wise like why is this place and maybe you doing the easter egg is going to make the shockwave it's going to do something and you're going to get rid of that so that you can finally start moving around the area again you got the omega sign here you got a picture of like the dome, which is where I believe the teleporter is gonna be. Um, here we have another area. This is kind of what I was talking about before where there's a giant area over here, or maybe it's over here, um, but these look very tight. Like these are kind of trenches. But then we do have another kind of airplane crash and this looks like we might be able to kind of go on top of it and then jump down into this trench right here. So that might be kind of cool up here people are saying that kind of looks like a uh, like a machine gun possibly i don't know i'm not i'm not 100 on it it is blinking you see that right there see blink 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 and then we just got action 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 now some people are talking about like how this oh this might be a part of the map and blah blah it's a fucking sentry gun guys like calm the hell down i know you're trying to like analyze shit but it's a fucking 10th century gun something that somebody put down now this is definitely one of the parts that were was kind of annoying me when i was watching all the coverage from other people because like they just were plain getting it wrong and it was kind of annoying but um so you got the wonder weapon now you can clearly see right here See right here, his hand is like this. He's cupping the bottom of the barrel. Okay. 
love you. You gotta go to bed. So he's clearly cupping the bottom of the barrel. Then he switches the hand position. See, cause right here, normal. And then he switches it. So he's grabbing the trigger and then shooting the grenade launcher. And then right here, right here you can see he changes the fire mode okay and then this next shot boom you got a grenade launcher and then you have the regular machine gun but for some reason a lot of the pe zombie people covering this um they were talking about how it's explosive but it's also fully automatic and they didn't really understand i'm like bro it's a grenade launcher like a lot of people are trying to figure it out or whatever but it's like no it's so clear and i saw this on my first run through you know granted it takes like a second here where he goes from normal position boom he grabs the trigger he shoots it then he switches it back to fully auto and then and then it just happens to go off so they're trying to connect so many things and it's like no dude it's just a grenade launcher on top of the wonder weapon i don't even know if that's the wonder weapon honestly it just seems like a really cool gun because that just seems like a normal ass gun that happens to have a really cool grenade launcher i don't know if that's the wonder weapon it might be a wonder weapon like maybe this will take over the um you know the ray gun maybe this will be here instead of the ray gun for this map but i i feel like this can't be the the wonder weapon because i feel like they've been hyping up the wonder weapon for a while now and they're like oh it's gonna be so badass or something and then they just show the wonder weapon i don't know and it's so underwhelming it's like oh cool boom like that's cool don't get me wrong but it's like it's also just kind of like okay giant ass explosion yay like it takes out a lot of them don't get me wrong i mean that takes out quite a bit and it also even looks like he shoots the grenade thing itself see the things there's a purple thing there and he's actually shooting at it which that's what makes it explode so maybe it's maybe part of it's a mine maybe if you know zombies get too close to it it'll explode but you can also set it off just by shooting it yourself that's a possibility then we got this thing i i can't remember what it's called not a lot of people are saying that you're gonna be thrown onto or into the satellite but obviously you look if you look at the trajectory it's just you're going through that hole and then you're landing on the other side then obviously tombstone we got much more up close and personal look at it um this is cool the uh the upgrades for it have already been leaked so it's like you have a shadow self and then the shadow self tier one you can regenerate health in the shadow self um and then other stuff i can't remember um uh some people this is another part that people are just like oh maybe you trigger this part in in the thing Maybe this has something to do with the Easter egg. And all I can say is, dude, that's a fucking napalm strike. Why are you people trying to read into everything? That that right there shows me that they're adding napalm strikes to your inventory or to your crafting or whatever. That's what that shows me. But for some reason, they're, they're trying to like dig into meanings or something. I don't know. I could be wrong, obviously. I don't know shit. But to me, that's that's clearly a napalm strike. And so we're going to have that. That's confirmed for, you know, the crafting table or whatever. And then we have another mini boss. I, I've never seen this. I've never really seen this guy before, but they, they're acting like it's, you know, not a new guy. And then here we go. We got the elder beast. I love how he's like made up of tons of other zombies, which once again goes back to my theory that either this is made up of the little versions of himself this guy oop, too far too far where are you you are he here so either he's made up of a bunch of these or these come from him and during this big boss battle because you can clearly see right here i'll kind of freeze frame it dude 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 you can clearly see right here these guys are shooting at him because you can see the tr the trails the smoke trails from their bullets so we're clearly shooting at him and i'm thinking either the the last part is going to have a bunch of those little guys 
come together to form him or during the Burroughs battle, they're gonna break off of him and come at us. And so we're gonna have to deal with the minions plus him. That's my theory. Let's see if it's right. So that's it. That's pretty much all the stuff I personally noticed about it. I'm super excited about it. We have Tombstone on the way. I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt that like at the beginning of season two, because obviously this is sort of mid-season, but not really. I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt that somewhere around season two we're gonna get like mule kick or whatever. I need mule kick. Like especially like on Die Machine, like you can only have one weapon and the wonder weapon and that's it like i need i need my three weapons i'm so used to having three weapons now like you don't know how much you love it until it's gone so um but yeah you guys let me know what did you think about the trailer are you super hyped for it um i also hope we get something soon for season uh two i mean the thing that sucks is that like black ops 4 we got four maps at the beginning and then four more throughout its lifespan so that's a total of eight. So either hopefully we'll get the same amount through this lifespan or we're gonna get like half as much. I don't know, like, I hope so. Um, I really do, I, I want just as much. Um, Cause as much as I love Die Machine, it, or D Machine, um, it, it's definitely getting to the point where it's like, I, I'm pretty much just doing that map to do like um, some of my camos. Like, you know, you need pack a punch kills for some of your camos like that's the only reason i'm doing it otherwise i try to play onslaught a lot because that's at least you know it, it it's not the greatest and it's broken in some ways but it's at least something different than playing the same fucking map all the time so i'm definitely definitely ready for another map so let me know what you guys think about it and everything uh, make sure to go down to here to any of those places you can get a hold of us go on sundays at nerd radio we broadcast every sunday at 11 a.m central time you know some nerd radio it'll be really fun uh anyways yeah that's it for today so thank you guys so much for joining me i was nick for thread x reproductions and you have yourself a good day mm -hmm.